Okay, so now let's talk about your social media posts. So once more in ChatGPT, we could ask it to write our posts for us. If we're using Pinterest, for example, you want to write a Pinterest description for your pin, right? So you're going to ask, write a Pinterest description for my pin, use my keyword at the beginning and add a little call to action to go read my article. Make sure you write it under 500 characters because on Pinterest you're allowed to 500 characters. So let's go. So here's my keyword. So I grab whatever's between the quotes and this is the text that I'm gonna go and paste in my Pinterest post. As for Facebook and LinkedIn, what you want to do is get GPT to write a little summary of your article and lead them to your article. Okay, so let's say I'm doing Facebook right now. So the type of prompt I'm going to write, something that looks like write a post for my Facebook page that summarizes my blog article. My keyword must be at the beginning of the post. Add a call to action to click on my blog article so they can read it. Add a call to action to watch the video. So now GPT understand that I want a summary with my keyword at the beginning that leads them to read my blog article or watch the video. Keywords here at the beginning. We got a summary of the article. Click the blog article, watch the video. Obviously it provides hashtags. So here's my Facebook post, right? And I could do the same for LinkedIn. So I just need to grab the same prompt and just change the word Facebook for LinkedIn. Here once more, keywords at the top. The text is different from the Facebook post, which is very important, but it highlights the same things, right? So as I said, we got your keyword, summary of the article, click the blog article, watch the video. So here you got your LinkedIn post. Now, what's really important at the end of the day is that everything leads back to your blog article and your video. And that's very important because in Google, you have a video section here. So you're going to rank in there with your video. So it's important that you always link back to your videos in your posts. And obviously, it's always important that you link back to your blog articles in order to be in the all section here where most people go and read articles. And let's not forget that LinkedIn posts also appear here in the all section like a blog article would when they rank. Please move on to the next part of the training. For more free educational content, visit learnforfree.biz. Content produced and distributed by AllSuperInfo.